would be your takeaway message to the audience? Because as you um, so eloquently said, a lot of people are walking through real rough stuff. Yeah. I think it's really important to have self-compassion. And I had to ask a coach one time, like, what, like, I mean, I understand um, intellectually what it means to have self-compassion, but could you just like give me an actual example of self-compassion? And self-compassion just means when you're feeling low and when you're feeling like things are really, really hard, what we need to do is pause just for a moment and just add up why I'm feeling all the things I'm feeling. It's this, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's the, you know, it's all the things from the external to the internal to whatever it is, family stuff. And then this is the self-compassion part, looking at that list and saying, it makes sense. Mm. It makes sense that I feel this way. And sometimes it's okay to just be stuck on the couch. That's okay. If that's where you are, just say, it makes sense that I'm having a hard time uh, stopping binge watching Yellowstone and I just want to keep watching this and I'm not ready to get back up again, that's okay. Understanding that that's okay. And then knowing that there will come a moment that it's time to get up and it's time to take action. And the sooner you do it, even before you're ready, the better things are going to get faster. So I just want people to have self-compassion.